Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to share some amazing hidden features and good luck modules that will take your Galaxy S25 Ultra experience to the next level. So if you haven't watched the first part of this series, make sure to check it out. The link is in the description down below. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe and drop a comment if you enjoy these tips and tricks. So let's begin. So feature number one is where you need to customize your home screen with the home up module. So home up is a powerful good lock module that allows you to fully customize your home screen and app drawer. So you can change the grid size, adjust folder styles, tweak background blurs, and even control how recent apps are displayed. So let me show you how to get this. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the good lock app. Now good lock app is available in the Galaxy store. So go ahead and download it from there. From here, go ahead and scroll down and find Home Up. This is the module you need. Turn this feature on and here tap on Home Screen. Now here in this Home Screen module, you can go ahead and customize all this. So you can customize your app icon settings. You can go ahead and make it large or small. You can show item labels. You can control the background blur. You can loop pages. So once you reach to the end of your home screen, this basically goes back to the first page. You can turn on the Finder access. If you scroll down, you have DIY home screen, so you can build your own home screen. Home screen grid will allow you to have how many icons, so you can control, you can have more columns and rows, or you can have less icons on your home screen. Down below here, you have your favorite max count, so it's your dock bar which appears on your home screen. You can go ahead and disable this or enable this. You can go ahead and turn on a feature which lets you move the apps button. If you scroll down in the app screen, you have your app list column. So you can go ahead and make this, you can increase it or decrease it. Down below you have folder settings. So you can go ahead and increase your folder grids, folder icon grids. You can go ahead and make it into a pop-up folder. You can make large folders and you can apply the folder background color. So these are all the settings and features which you can apply to your home screen on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So this gives your phone a personalized look and feel while making it more efficient. So whether you want more apps on the screen or cleaner minimal setup, Home Up puts you in control of your S25 Ultra's home experience. Feature number two is where you need to turn on the lock screen widgets with Lockstar. So Lockstar lets you place widget, shortcuts, and information panels directly on your lock screen. So you can reposition the elements like clock, notification, and quick tools to fit your style. So here as an example, I'll show this without Lockstar. If you wanna go ahead and add a widget to this lock screen, you can go ahead and long press on this. Now here, if you add a widget, you'll notice that you are able to add a widget. However, the widgets are really small, as you can see. And so let me show you how to add a full-blown widget just like the ones that you add on your home screen to your lock screen. So in order to do this, go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, find Lock Star. So this is the module you need. Tap on this. This will take you straight to your lock screen. Now tap on Lock Star at the bottom here and then tap on Apps Widgets. So here you can go ahead and add all these app widgets. So let's say, for example, I'll go ahead and add a calendar. Now this allows you to add a full calendar widget something like, like this, where you can see the whole calendar. If you go ahead and add a camera widget, you can go ahead and see images. If you go ahead and add gallery, so you can see photos from your, from your gallery. If you look at Gmail, you can go ahead and see emails, news. Let's go ahead and add this. So you can stay on top of your news. You can control the transparency here. And now once you're happy, you can tap on done and go ahead and press home. Now when you go ahead and look at your lock screen, you'll see that you have a lock screen widget where you can basically just look at the widget at a glance from your lock screen. So this makes your lock screen not just for unlocking, but for quick productivity. Imagine checking your calendar, weather or music controls instantly without unlocking the phone. So it's a true time saver on your Samsung Galaxy device. Feature number three is where you need to turn on one-handed mode. The Samsung S25 Ultra display is massive, but the one-handed mode shrinks the size to a smaller size like this, so that you can reach everything with just one hand. So you can go ahead and activate this by a swipe or a double tap on your home button. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So here you need to go ahead and open up your settings, scroll down and find advanced features. Now from here, find one-handed mode. 
Go ahead and turn this feature on. Now you can go ahead and choose a gesture or a button. Since I have my navigation bar, I want to go ahead and choose a button where I can double tap on the home button to enable this. So if you go ahead and press home, now when you're holding your S25 Ultra in one hand and you have small hands, you can go ahead and double tap on the home screen. This will turn on your one-handed mode. You can go ahead and customize this by um, resizing the screen, moving it up, moving it to the right, moving it down, or moving it to the left. So this basically allows you to reach to the top very easily on your S25 Ultra. So it's perfect for when you're on the go or carrying something with other hand, it makes your phone more usable and comfortable, especially for those with smaller hands. Feature number four is where you need to turn on the edge panel for quick access to apps. So edge panel is a sidebar that slides in from the edge. So you can add your favorite apps, contacts, tools like rulers or clipboard, and even panels from third party developers. So let me show you how to turn on this edge panel feature on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So to do this, go ahead and open up settings. Now go ahead and scroll down, find display. Now from here, scroll down and find edge panel. Turn this feature on, tap on this, and go ahead and configure this. So these are all the panels which you can see, apps, task, people, weather, clipboard, voice changer, reminder, tools, and music. So I've gone ahead and enabled some of these. Now go back, you can go ahead and configure the handle, which is right here. You can go ahead and choose all the different colors. You can position it to the left or right. You can show the transparency, the size, and the width. Now, if you press home, go ahead and bring the edge panel by swiping it to the left. You'll see all these apps. You can tap on the pencil here to configure what apps you wanna include and exclude. So at the top here, you'll see all your Galaxy AI apps. And at the bottom here, all the apps which you have installed on your Samsung S25 Ultra. If you swipe, you'll see all the different features which you can access. So instead of constantly going back to the home screen or app drawer, you get instant multitasking power right from your screen. So it's like having a personal shortcut drawer at your fingertips. Feature number five is where you need to turn on now bar to see real time updates on your lock screen. So the now bar is a feature that displays live updates like music deliveries or ongoing activities directly on your lock screen in a sleek bar format. So here I've got a timer which I've enabled and I can go ahead and see the update of that timer on my lock screen right here at the bottom. So this is a timer which where I have maybe eight minutes and 50 seconds left. And from my lock screen, I can go ahead and keep track of that timer. So let me show you how to enable different apps on now bar to show you live updates on your lock screen. So here you need to go ahead and open up settings. Scroll down and find lock screen and AOD. Now here you want to tap on now bar. Now in the now bar, you can go ahead and see all of these different updates. So you can see updates on your media player, your maps, Samsung health, interpreter, a clock, voice recorder, Samsung notes, SOS, smart things, and Samsung wallets. So these are all the things where you can see live updates on your lock screen. So go ahead and turn on any of the features you require and it'll show you live updates on your lock screen. So you don't have to unlock your phone or pull down the notification shade. Everything is visible at a glance, keeping you updated in real time. Feature number six is where you need to reorder your settings menu with Registar. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can use the Registar module, which is from the GoodLock app. It allows you to reorganize your settings menu. So when you go ahead and visit your settings menu, you'll see that it comes in the default view where you have your connections, connected services, and all of these different settings, which are listed down below here. Now you can move the most used settings to the top, hide the ones that you rarely use, and even add gesture shortcuts. So say for example, if you don't use Galaxy AI, you can go ahead and hide those. If you want to go ahead and look at your general management, so your language and keyboard, you wanna go ahead and put this at the top, you can also do that. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, we'll need to go ahead and open up the GoodLock app. In the GoodLock app, scroll down, find Registar. Now here, you wanna go ahead and customize your settings home. You wanna turn this feature on, then tap on Menu, Order, and Group Settings, and you wanna go ahead and change this around. So as I said before, I don't wanna see Galaxy AI, so I'll unpick that. Next, I wanna go ahead and move General Management to the top.
and now I'll tap on save. So now once I do this, I'll press home, I'll go ahead and visit my settings and you'll see the changes being made where general management will come to the top and Galaxy AI settings has been hidden. So this makes massive settings app cleaner and more tailored to how you actually use your phone. No more scrolling endlessly to find what you need. And lastly, feature number seven is where you need to add the delete button to your screenshot toolbar. So normally when you take a screenshot, so normally you get an option like edit, share or save. But with this tweak, you can get a delete button on your toolbar. So this basically saves time, keeps your gallery from getting cluttered. So if you take a screenshot by mistake, you can instantly delete it without leaving the screen you're on. So as an example, go to Google. Let's say I want to take a screenshot of this. And now I want to go ahead and delete it. I can go and press delete. This will delete the image. I don't need to go into gallery and delete it manually. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So to do this, go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, scroll down, find Nice Shot. Here you want to turn this feature on, and then you want to go ahead and find this feature, Add Delete Button. Go ahead and turn this feature on. So this will add a delete button to the toolbar so you can delete the incorrectly captured screenshot immediately. Now press Home. Now take a screenshot, and you'll notice the Delete button right here. Delete it if you don't want it. And that's it for today's video, seven powerful features that will supercharge your Galaxy S25 Ultra experience. So which one of these features you're most excited to try? Drop your thoughts in the comment below. I'd love to hear from you all. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss part three when it drops. And if you haven't already, check out part one of this series. The link is waiting for you in the description down below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.